A common problem in geometry is finding the projection of one object onto another. For example, given a three-dimensional object projected onto a flat surface, we could say we're finding its two-dimensional shadow. This is actually a complicated problem because it relies on a lot of different things, including the position of the light source. So we'll start with a simpler one. We'll project one vector onto another vector. Intuitively, we want to find the shadow of one vector on another vector. But that shadow depends on the angle of the light source. If it's coming from one direction, we'll have a longer shadow. If it's coming from another direction, we'll have a shorter shadow. So what angle should we pick? To choose an angle, we might note that an object's shadow is most useful when it is most similar to the original object. So when would the shadow be most similar to the original vector? So given any shadow, there's what we might call the difference vector. This is the difference between the projection and the original vector. We can make this difference vector as small as possible if it's orthogonal to the projection. Putting these ideas together leads us to the following. The projection of u onto v, written this way, is a scalar multiple of v, where this scalar multiple plus this third vector equals the original vector, and v and w are orthogonal. Since we want w and v to be orthogonal, their dot product is zero. So if we take our equation and find the dot product with v, we get which we can use to find the value of the scalar multiple. So let's find our projection. So remember the projection will be a scalar multiple of v, where that scalar multiple plus the remaining bit gives us our original vector and v dot w is 0. So we can find the dot product. And since v and w are orthogonal, their dot product is 0. And so we have and we can fill up the dot products. u dot v is and v dot v is and so C is, and consequently our projection will be the 6 18 multiple of V, which we can simplify, but we won't bother. And we could turn this into a formula, but we'll leave that as an exercise. Remember, understand concepts. Don't memorize formulas.